uh, dramatically, it actually shuts down the mechanism in the cancer cell. It's called negative feedback inhibition. And okay, so yeah. while the good cells will welcome the nutrients and it will make more, they will make more glutathione, which subsequently can fuel more T cells, the cancer cells begin to downregulate glutathione and subsequently they get weaker. And now the, the uh, immune system can focus on creating T cells, which can eat the cancer cells. Now, you may have heard uh, recently about the word immunotherapy. Uh, it's uh, kind of a buzzword right at the moment. Well, we've been well, we're working with get, that for... Get to, uh, we're going to get to that in a, uh, you know, in a, in a minute, but I, since we only have 14 minutes left, that, that was a loaded question, I know, and you really, you really gave us a thorough yes, uh, explanation. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, but we do want to make sure that um, the information that uh, you want to share in, in terms of actually what you're doing to help people now and with this upcoming event that you have uh, today, actually, from 1.30, I believe it is, from 1.30 to 3 p.m., um, so I want to ask um, Nigel uh, if you could explain a little bit about if you've gotten any pushback from medical professionals that follow a more conventional form of treatment um, and explain um, what the treatment is, if you could do that for us. Sure. Um, so the short answer is yes. Um <laughs> As um, Jim also mentioned earlier with regard to um, uh, negative uh, feedback, uh, one of the things that um, I've discovered with um, <clears throat> other health professionals is that um, they, they're under the impression that, um, you know, you cannot really consume or should not consume antioxidants or, or any other kind of nutrient that would likely um, strengthen you know, a cancer cell that's already high in glutathione. Um, and they're always really surprised that um, there is a mechanism, uh, or rather a protocol uh, that we use um, called bonded cysteine that actually um, causes the, uh, the cancer cell to shut down. Um, so <clears throat> as Jim mentioned, the cancer cells, are very high generally in glutathione, which makes those cells resistant to uh, the chemo, radiation, and whatnot. And as a result, um, once the doctors apply that, um, they end up um, killing good cells and, and oftentimes actually killing the patient. You know, it's really interesting. Um, one of the, the common refrains now is that, um, you know, either the uh, cancer will kill you or the treatment will kill you. And, that, and this is one of those things that is accepted in the industry. And that is what Jim and I are actually trying to change, um, um, get cancer sufferers, you know, to realize that, hey, there is hope. You know, I don't have to hold on to this adage that, um, you know, one day the cancer may come back. So um, the bonded cysteine actually is a whey protein, uh, a special undenatured whey protein that we use um, that was formulated um, from research from about uh, 20 or so years ago. Um, and that is actually instrumental in actually fighting against a lot of the uh, scourges that uh, people are dealing with um, with immune health. Um, Jim, did you want to add something else onto that? Yes. Um what is um, what has become available in uh, glutathione technology are, first of all, some drugs uh, such as uh, uh, AZT, um, OC, um, SAMe, um, NAC. Uh, these drugs are uh, have synthetic forms of cysteine, and under an emergency use. Um, uh, NAC is used to uh, detoxify uh, overdoses of Tylenol and uh, some other drugs. Um, however, for prolonged use, they uh, they actually can cause more damage than, than good. And so to be able to have a naturally sourced bonded cysteine is, is, is unique. 
Uh, and that's the, the secret to uh, being able to produce intracellular glutathione. And uh, glutathione uh, is sometimes injectable. Uh, they make oral glutathione. We've, in our research, found that the oral glutathione is pretty much worthless because it gets destroyed in the stomach. And um, while the injectable form will bypass the stomach, uh, it doesn't have uh, the ability to raise intracellular glutathione, only extracellular glutathione. So it has a short half-life. It can't really um, support long-term benefits. Uh, it has a hard time getting past the blood-brain barrier, which is important. Uh, so really, yes, the, uh, the unique form of uh, supplying the necessary nutrients or precursors is very critical. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um... Oh, and Gail, sorry, um, you, you, you had asked me about the event today. Um, let me just go ahead in the time that we have and just... Right, um, yes. <laughs> right, and just... Because um, I know you'll be that. able so, to go into even more detail at the event today because this is just the tip absolutely. of the iceberg. Okay, go right ahead. Absolutely. So the event actually is going to be held in Laurel today. Um at our Laurel location, located at 525 Main Street. Um, that, you know, if you're coming from Baltimore, um, it would be the Laurel exit, the 216 Laurel exit um, to downtown Laurel. Okay. And what is going to happen during that event? Well, um, Jim is going to be there, and uh, um, Jim is going to go into detail. He's going to give some history um, uh, with regard to the research. We'll, we'll talk a bit about the research because I realize that research actually is going to be important to perhaps to some of the um, health professionals who are going to be present today. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, One of the other things that we didn't mention was that the protocol that we're talking about today uh, was very, very close to being released as a drug. So that being said, um, it is um, in the PDR. It's in the uh, Pharmacy Red Book. Um, um, It's been granted a number of um, patents, method of use patents, with regard to... um, methodology to uh, address various kinds of health conditions. Mm -hmm. So um, what our audience will discover today that um, this modality is not necessarily limited to cancer alone, but I chose to talk about cancer today um, largely because I realized that a lot of people really are suffering, especially in the DMV area. Um, Cancer rates are just, um, skyrocketing every single day. And that's one of the things that um, Jim will also address today, um, what, um, what the research is showing with regard to this region and, uh, um, and some of the um, cancer causes. Um, yeah, but ultimately, uh, we just want to bring this information to um, this region and let people know that there, there is um, medicine which actually has gone beyond just hoping. So, um, I believe that most um, cancer sufferers can, uh, you know, uh, can breathe a sigh of relief once they uh, get a hold of this information. Okay. Um, now, if um, someone wanted to follow a suggested, no, let's let's skip to, um, if is any of this the type of treatment that you're offering? Um, which is non-traditional, is um, is it, any of it covered by insurance, Medicare, or Medicaid? Jamie, you want to take that? Uh, sure. Well, uh, <coughs> you, you may recall that uh, there was a, a newfangled treatment that was announced uh, in the mid-1940s after uh, 27 years of research. It was called penicillin. And uh, nobody knew what it was. It won the Nobel Prize for Medicine, but it certainly wasn't <laughs> covered by insurance. Uh, now it's uh, it's covered by insurance. Uh, so right now uh, it's not something that the insurance companies really have on the radar. 
Uh, it will be. I'm, I'm sure it will be. In fact, uh, mm-hmm. I predict in in uh, in a few years, uh, probably the first thing that a doctor will do when a person comes into to their office, just like they they take their blood pressure and and weigh them on a scale, they'll have their glutathione tested because it okay. it impacts close to 200 different illnesses. Okay. Wow. So. Um... <laughs> Wow. We often hear pharmaceutical advertisements say, ask your doctor if this is right for you. Um, In your experience, do you encounter many health professionals who are aware of alternative treatments such as the type we're discussing today? That's a good question. Uh, There is a movement. uh, It's called the wellness movement, and uh, more and more doctors are expressing strong interest in this. Um, Recently I gave a seminar in Poland, and had 250 doctors in the audience. Uh, we've, I speak with doctors all over the United States, and I'm, I'm very pleased to say that I'm working in one country uh, that is uh, preparing to uh, introduce the first uh, glutathione um, course for medical doctors, which right now doesn't exist anywhere in the world. <laughs> so uh, right, right. It, it may be it may be that. Uh, some of your listeners might want uh, to or may not be in that area uh, where I'm speaking today, but uh, perhaps uh, uh, Nigel can give a phone number. And, well, we're and actually into, in. we're Internet radio. We broad, broadcast all over the uh, United States and even in other countries. I've had people on. Uh, I've interviewed from the United Kingdom. So I mm-hmm. do have a local audience, but... Um, Internet radio, this show goes all over the world, actually. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Well, perhaps there's a phone number that they could call in to get information, and then we can also let them know where future uh, seminars will be. Okay, okay. Um, We will be more than happy to, you know, post that information. And, um, Nigel, if you have uh, a number and a email address, a website where you, that you want to give out to my listeners so that they can contact you, that would be wonderful. Yes. Um, my direct number um, is 347-283-1788. And I will be providing you with additional um, information um, links and maybe an additional uh, phone number where um, you can um, post it to your site uh, so that your audience can reach out to us. Okay. And finally, I want to ask, um, in terms of the different types of glutathione, I know people are going to the health food stores and, and purchasing these products. Is there a difference between these products and the protocols you support? I mean, I'm, I know there <laughs> are, but I, I absolutely have to be. But, I mean, some people are saying, well, I could go to a, a local um, health food store and buy glutathione. <laughs> that is true. Well, uh, if you want, I can answer that, Nigel. Yes, yeah, yeah, um, go ahead, Tim. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a doctor that I... Uh, was asked to visit in Orlando, Florida recently, and, and he, he proudly pulled out a, a jar of glutathione. Uh, and he sells it for like $150 for the jar. And, and we're I down said, to two uh, minutes, well, gentlemen. You, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. I asked, I told him, you realize that uh, that is absolutely worthless? Mm-hmm. And he said, no, I didn't know that. I said, yeah, and I showed him the clinical study on it. So, in essence, yes. it's uh, What we're going to be explaining today is probably the the way, the best way to do it. And uh, there's many ways, but most of them have some uh, side effects or some dangers to them, or they, they really are, are not uh, the best. So, yes, it's a, in our opinion, there's, there's only one really true way to do it that's safe and effective, and you can do it every day. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow, well, thank you so much, um, gentlemen, uh, for this powerful information that you've shared this morning with my listeners. And, again, the event today is at 525 for my local listeners, 525 Main Street in Laurel, which is off of 216 in downtown Laurel. And you can Google that, 525 Main Street in Laurel. And um, 
we want you to come out between 1.30 and uh, 3 o'clock p.m. and find out really all the uh, details and powerful details that we weren't uh, 